the last tutorial, we created the cuboid and the cube. So, as you remember, we're going to be creating all the parts to create this toy truck. So we've created these pieces, these pieces, and now we will have to finish off the wooden parts by creating the triangular piece here, same as this, and the cylindrical parts, and often the piece people forget about is that piece in the middle, this long bar with holes in it here. So, click on the plus at the bottom of the screen to make a new part studio. And let's rename it so I know. Click on sketch, click on front, and click on front over here. So it turns around. And then I'm going to draw a straight line up from the center. I'm going to make that 30. Click escape. I don't want to. I don't want to continue a line from this point, so I have to click escape to come out of the tool. And then I want to go back into it and click and drag a line out at the bottom. Make sure you have drawn from the same point the end of the line, the center. Draw it out and enter 30. And then you can draw another line from there to here. Accept the sketch. Extrude. As before, push down on the shift key on the keyboard, push down the roller ball on the mouse, and just move your mouse and manipulate the view so you're looking straight onto it at an angle. If you know what I mean. So, enter 30. Select the, select the triangle and tick on the, sorry, click on the little tick, accept. As you can see, this has holes in it as well, a hole through here and a hole coming from the back of it. Common mistake is people put the hole on the slope, the longer surface. Let me draw on here and extrude it through an angle so it comes through in the wrong place. You have to make your sketch up here and the back here. So to do that, click on sketch, turn it around so you can see the surface you want. Click on that surface. Over here, again, use this manipulator tool and click on left in this case. So it turns around, then click on this, the circle, same as before, find the center of the line, find the center of the edge, move into the middle, and where the two lines meet, click and drag out your circle. Accept that sketch, and again extrude. Oh, that's wrong. I've selected the wrong part. That's what happens if you select the wrong part of the sketch. Let's just come out of that a second and do it again. And this time, make sure you're inside that circle. Enter 30, as before, or left click, or left click on the mouse and drag through. It's going to, it's going to add it here. I don't want it to add, I want to make a hole through it, so remove. And accept it. Same in the bottom, roll it round, make sure you're selecting the right surface, make sure you're looking for where the orange edge is. Um, same as before. Find the center, find the center, move the mouse in, and click and drag. Should be used, you should be used to doing this by now. Remove. And that's a triangle. Complete. 
Next one. Uh, we'll call the cylinder. Probably the easiest part to do. So for this one, click on sketch again, click on top, top over here, and all this is is a simple cylinder. First hole will be 12 mil, and then from memory, I think the outer diameter is about 20. Accept the sketch, click on extrude, and choose the outer part, not the inner hole, the outer part here. So both this line, this line, and this line are turned orange. And make it 30 again. Accept the sketch, and that's it. That's the easiest part, just two circles and extrusion. Again, Move on to the next part, click on plus, create part studio. And we'll call this a uh, long part. Again, give it a name so you can easily recognize which part of this. Sketch, remove down to the top again, same process every time. This time it's a long rectangle, so draw out. And the length obviously is the length of two cuboids, so it's 120 long. Press enter. And the height is the same, 30. Before I actually extrude this, I'm gonna draw the circles this time on this sketch. Um, so what I'm gonna do first of all is draw a central line. You have four evenly spaced holes across this space. So I'm going to draw a center line. So find the center of the edge here. Draw across. I actually want this to be a construction line, which we did before. So as you're drawing it, just go up to the construction tool and come down. So a straight line from center over here to here. I don't want another line, so press escape. What I want now is circles. So I'm just going to draw them anywhere, but I'm going to put the center of the circle on this line. But for now, anywhere you want. Draw another one. All right. Make sure you're in the right tool. Okay. Always just look up and check that your drawing tool is selected. All the holes, oh, for some reason that came through as a construction. So what I need to do is just turn that off. All right. Select that line, first of all, so it's orange. And up here on the construction tool, just change it over. Remember to drop each circle on the line. So the center is sitting directly on the center line. All right, so obviously these aren't in the right place, but they're on the center, which is correct, but they're not in the right, they're not evenly spaced apart. So to do that, I'm going to use the dimension tool. I'm going to start by measuring from this edge, from here to here. If you're in class now, I'd get you to work this out. Yeah, you know that's 120 long, you've got four, Circles which need to be evenly spaced out, what distances are they apart? So obviously from the first line over here to the center is 15 uh, and Then can do the other side and Then distance of these apart you should be able to work out quite simply by now 30. 30 again. And then if you want to check the distance from here to here should be 30. Yep. 
and that was it. So the dimension tool is really useful to position lines or sketches very accurately. So again, I accepted that sketch. I have used the roller ball again on the mouse to move it back. Click on extrude. Make sure you're selecting the outside, not the inside of these circles, in between the, the rectangle and the circle. So all highlights in orange. And you'll see it extrude. This one's a thinner piece, probably about eight mil. Yep, looks right to me. Accept the sketch, or accept the extrusion. And that is, I believe, all the wooden parts. So the cube, triangle, cylinder, long part, and cuboid. One, two, three, four, five. yep, that is it. Obviously, you've got two of some parts. So you've got two cubes, you've got two cuboids, and you've got two triangles. Uh, all, you need to be, all you need to do is add them into the assembly twice when you come to the assembly of the parts. And that's it. So in this tutorial, we will move on to the plastic parts.